Sula Mukatango, Yocha Kasoli Wo, Rocha Wasio, Yue Uganda, Nebo Gende Bulaya, Noa Somuzungu, Zenepa Somuzoga, De Chikuchusa, De Nindo Yolim Pambu, Tata Yolim Nipi, De Mutu Sosora, We are brothers, Eto Kene Chinewa, Lumonde Nekawa. My name is Sabit Isaac, the CEO of Sanitation Empowerment and Agricultural Support Limited. This is a social enterprise. We are producing QRA organic fertilizers from people's large. Here we normally call it the toilet resources. So having grown up in Islam in Mengo Chiseni, I was there, uh, some new idea popped up of the like, no, sanitation in Kampala is demanding. What can be done that can solve sanitation in Kampala? So this idea came, I was like, no. Uh, sanitation byproducts can be used into a new product that can be sold. So this is how I started with the fecal sludge and getting it into a fertilizer. Fecal sludge, this is from feces. Uh, we have cesspool vehicles that will go in the uh, domestic households or institutions and then they suck out the toilet resources from the toilet and then when they suck them out they drive them to the fecal sludge plant at Uruji. they process it when they process it they will come up with something like uh, with something like this so this is me the password this is the one i need myself so this one i get from uh, Rubiji after they have killed the pathogens and whatever in it and uh, to me i feel it's safe as of now so this is what I get my fertilizer from. When I was young, still in the village, uh, we would eat guavas, we would eat passion fruit. So when I grew up, I realized that whenever we would go and defecate in the bush, you do the next day or after some time, you find that guavas have germinated, all passion fruit have germinated. And those passion fruits or guavas would look healthy. So, when I was getting into this business, that, that was the concept behind my idea, that if you can defecate and then the, the fruits, the guavas come up healthy, then why don't I use the same fecal sludge and see what it will do? We have tested our fertilizer on carrots, it's doing great. Uh, we have tested on green pepper, it's doing well. Uh, we have tested on cabbages, we have tested on passion fruit, it's doing very well. We directly deal with the farmers who need the fertilizer. That's why we are seeing our potential. So you go to the farmer, you introduce yourself. Uh, some will kind of uh, say, uh, they will kind of not uh, respond positive, but you have to cool the farmer down because you need money from them. Given that they are worried of the synthetic fertilizers linking them to uh, these uh, millennial diseases, one will quickly agree with you and say okay let me give it a try if it doesn't work we will meet and sort it out neo kenneth he is my royal customer whenever the season sets in he will call me and make orders he's actually those are the farmers making me to live and uh, and keep in business <laughs> And as a go-getter, actually I'm even now changing from uh, using the, the fecal sludge from the Rubiji plant. I want now to go fresh. Uh, I want uh, fresh fecal. Uh, this is why now I'm looking at working with Give Love, which is an international organization. It's having the co-compositing uh, processes here. Uh, I want first to work with their product. So what will come out from that is actually I feel it could be the climax of my innovation because if I work now on fresh feces, I will be confident in me. So I want to have to start from zero, see how they have worked on it, and then process it into the same pellets. Because I so much believe that uh, the fresh feces could have much nutrients than the fecal sludge I'm having.